Good day, legends. I uh, hope you're all having a great evening. Looking forward to the game tonight. Just want to have a bit of a say on the David Fafita saga. I've had a number of people reach out to the page today. Uh, it's been great to talk some footy. Um, that's not part of the Paramount Areas. It's a page that we do everything about rugby league. I love talking any club matters. And obviously this is a big one. David Fafita, the Gold Coast Titans. And it seems like the Sydney Roosters that he is now signed for. I just want to pose a question for this one. Um, I know a lot of the fans are very angry and frustrated towards Dave Feeder himself. It's quickly turned. Um, it, it's it's amazing how quickly it has turned. Um, I also want to sort of point the finger a bit in the at the clubs or in the club's direction um, in terms of they allowed these sorts of clauses in these in this contract, and it's felt like to me on the outsider looking in. Dave Feed has treated the club um, sort of like his puppet in a way, um, and he's been able to dictate, it feels like, a lot of these contract terms uh, with the club and, and basically decide when he wants to, to depart the club. For the Gold Coast Titans, they really need to have players there that want to be there, and they genuinely want to be there. That's how you build your club. That's how you, you continue. Like Someone like Tino, for mine, looks like he genuinely wants to be there. I know there's people talking about him and potentially what this means for his contract moving on, but he looks like, to me, someone who actually loves the club and loves the people that the club uh, is about. Dave Fafita, for mine, it hasn't seemed like that has been the case for, for especially the, the last 18 months, uh, maybe 24 months. Um, it's always been about Dave Fafita, but in saying that, the club has allowed that with all these clauses which have just been crazy.